Yeah, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Fabo, Space Age Custom, man, bringing the future to your car. Today, I'm taking delivery of my new project, Monte Carlo. I don't know no history on this car besides I'm the next owner. That's it. That's the only thing I know. So I know they was doing a dash swap for a Pontiac G6. What's that? I was recording video. When I get home, I get back to you, YouTube. Uh, probably just restore it and get it back up to par. So YouTube got the car home. We've well, been home for a few hours, whatever. But I'm just not getting back home from work. So to get y'all a little overlook of the car, man. Like I don't know nothing about it, bro. Like let's look at it together for real. I bought the car at like a little silent auction type thing. Damn. Can't really see this shit. Can't really see it. But um, uh, from the looks of it, it got to be from an '85. I don't know, maybe. I don't know what the frame rail is looking like, but we got some rust in there. Got some rust in there. I gotta get up under it. Like I said, I just got it home. I only got the keys to get in the trunk. But whoever had it, bruh, was getting ready to do a dash swap with a G6, Pontiac G6. Here go the mount. There go all the clusters and stuff back there. There go the original dash. Uh, it needs a new gear shift because I fought getting it in, in neutral. Uh, you can see they were making braces and everything for it. See the channel over there? That's what I used on mine. I already know what they were doing. Well, it's obvious what they were doing. Need floors in it. So, it ain't nothing to me, man. We're going to get this popping, man. We're going to get this popping. Sure is. So, stick around, man. Sit tight. Lay around for it. I wonder if this one broke. But the crank is off. Oh, they go to glass. I need to get this up. Let me give me a pair of vice grips and get this glass up, man. So, yeah, y'all. I'm going to get back with you in a minute, man. Y'all be cool. I'm going to figure out what year it is. Like I say, uh, um, I got a friend. She's a realtor. And um, they acquired this um, big-ass warehouse. And they had all these cars in it, man. They had like 40 cars, man. They had box Chevys and everything. I didn't even get the box Chevy because my dude got it. But I picked this joint up. So they got a um, file for an abandoned title. So I will have a title soon. So they took the VIN number down and shit. So I had a title soon. So boom. It's all good. But let me get some vice grips. See, can I get that window up? Because I don't want it to get any more messed up than it already is. You feel me? But... Um, this looks to be a Vortec engine out of a pickup with some headers on it. It was already suited, so I believe it's running, bro. I believe it's running. I believe it ain't going to be nothing to it to get it running. Yep. So, stick around. I don't know if I want to jump on this real quick and finish this up or, or keep taking my time on the cutters, but I think I might... I think I might get this, man, because it already got the motor in and shit. And I just reconditioned that joint. But anyway, go, go, get a little bit of tongue tied. We'll get back with you in a minute. <laughs> shit. These seats right here came out of a, a Grand Prix. That's what I had going in my Cutlass. But um, I got some more seats for the Cutlass. So these might go in that car there for real. Hey, if any one of my subscribers, you or your friend or whatever, need a 
Big lead for uh, Monte Carlo from a 2000 to 2005. There's three tens right there. I made it for mid range, so when you pop the trunk, you know what I'm saying? You got three tens on the on the back deck of, of the trunk lead. So you want that, man? I'm giving that away. You can have it. Pay for shipping. That's for a Grand Prix for 2005 Grand Prix, I think it was. They're all the same. I gotta finish it. So get in the comment box if you want me to finish it and give it away to somebody who needs it. That's what we'll do. If you don't comment, I won't finish it. It's been sitting here for almost a year, probably. Probably half a year. I ain't even finished it yet. My dude sold the car, so. Uh, get in the comment box and I'll finish it and I'll ship it to somebody. Give it away. That's what we'll do. So. Let me see if I can get this window up, man. Get back at y'all in a minute. Y'all be cool. Stay true. Space age over now. Bring the future to your car. What's up, YouTube? It's a new project, man. This is something I scooped up. Little nothing. It's a runner. Only thing wrong with it, the yoke on the dry shaft was broke. So this is not the one that goes in. This is for a G body. So I was trying to see if it still fit because it had the same transmission. But I got a new drive shaft put in. Got the car running. Only thing wrong now is this right here. See it? See it treading on broke. So now. We're gonna put a new trailer knob on there. Got a brand new one. Brand new one from Dorman. So we're gonna put that in. It needs an exhaust. They had all type of flex pipes and stuff up under here, man. This shit here, I cut this shit out. So as soon as I get this trailer knob put on, I'm gonna take it to the exhaust shop and get the muffler put on, pipes. Then we're going to come back. I could do this now, but uh, we're going to do the brakes and rotors in the front. Then eventually the shoes and the drums in the back. We're going to do a nice tune-up. Um, thermostat. Uh, oil change. Uh, let me see. Got some more parts in here, too. That came with the car. So we're going to do some big things with this car. Real quick. A real quick budget bill. So, new fan clutch. Uh, damn. New water pump. And, we got some new air shocks. Right here. New air shocks. Right there, guys. So, man, y'all hop in the comment box and tell me what y'all think about my tow truck fan. One of my friends got a towing company and he buy unwanted cars. So this was an unwanted car. Somebody didn't want it in the yard anymore. They sold it to him. He sold it to me. And I got it running. It was already running. I put a battery in it. Like I said, the dry shaft broke. So they didn't know what to do with it. They thought the transmission was gone. So they just set it up and let it sit. So I'm going to let y'all see. I ain't touched the pedal. I did have my foot on but I didn't press it in. I'm going to start it up. Yep. She's a runner. Like I said, YouTube, stick around with me on this bill. It's going to be a quick budget bill, so we're going to get it up to par running. We're going to find the bumper filler. We're going to find the tail light. We're going to find the front light. We're going to repaint it back brown, not the original color, but back some type of brown. I don't like this kind of brown. It's a little booty. 
But we're going to put the parts on it, get it up to par, get it how we're ready first. And then we're going to swap out these seats for some more seats, clean the carpet up, clean the dash up, swap the steering wheel real quick. Might even put a roof, I'm not too sure. The guy that had this car freaking spray painted a paintbrush or something. But, uh, so like I say, I need the side marker here. So I'm looking for that, looking for the tail light and the bumper fillers. And I'm looking for a cutout, a couple cutouts. I need a cutout for that right there. And I need a cutout for the other side. Other than that, it ain't gonna take but a second for us to build this car together, man, and get it popping. So I'm gonna need y'all, man, to just stick around, watch the channel, stay up on, on the updates, man. And um, just sit tight, man. And, Get in the comment box, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think I should do. Suggestions or whatever, you know. Everything is welcome, man. Hit the thumbs up, share the video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? So this is 1985 Beerless Sabre. We're going to bring the future to the car. With that, we're going to be over and out, man. Space Aid Custom. We got my boy up on it doing a little welding on the pipe. Shit, he need to put the muscles on here. Alright, you too. Y'all be cool, man. Peace.